see the difference between the line graph and the linear graph. Here you can see that this side, my right hand side, you can see that is your line graph, and this side you can see that linear graph. Let's see the difference. So if you look at the diagram, you can see that it's a straight line segment, a straight line segment without any tunnel. And here you can see it's a straight line segment, a collection of straight line segment, but there's a tunnel. If you can take all the, you can see there's a tunnel point. Turning point, and if you look at here, also turning point. So, if there is any turning point and collection of line segment joining, then that type of figure or graph we call line graph. And if there is no gap or there is a straight line segment without any turning or curving, then we call linear graph. That's the difference between these two. And if you see here, it's a single line graph and it's a double line graph. So what is the importance of this two? Or what is the difference between this two? See, whenever we take a single uh, student's marks, then we can go for this one. Or single student's speed or this height, whatever we need, we can go for it. But if you need to compare with anyone, if you need to compare with any two students, their marks or their speed or distance or time, then we go for double line graph. Your question may ask, sir, can it be extended to three? Or four or five like that. Yes, it will be extended to that also. But generally, we have in our syllabus uh, maximum we see that uh, comparison between any two quantities. Okay, that is the thing. And the one more important thing in both cases we need to write that is a scale. Scale is very much important for that one. You can see that scale. Uh, these are your x-axis unit. You can see that one unit, one small gap, ten small division. You can see what that uh, on x-axis I am taking here as marks, one, one marks, so we need to write here, one marks. And if you see here, this is your number of students, that's right. So number of students, how many, one by unit we are taking, 10. So we need to write here, 10 marks. Similarly, if we go for this one, if we go for this one, you can see that x is 1 unit equals to 10 minutes. Unit is very much important, please mention, with this case, unit is compulsory, if there is a unit like time. For time, we have maybe second, maybe hour, maybe minute. Here also distance in meter, centimeter or kilometer. So unit is compulsory in that scale also. So please mention that one. And uh, I hope that you will have understood the difference between your line graph and linear graph. Thank you.